Hey guys, I figured I would do a quick video. I had to go back into work. I get down my ass and HR sitting there smoking and I'm like, oh. <laughs> you know, I'm just going back and forth through the door because I don't need to get my steps, right? So I was, I forgot my debit card in there, you know, because I'm someone that is all over the place and I don't put things back where they should. One of the first rules your mom teaches you is, you know, put things back where they were. I don't listen to, I don't listen to myself. Or, I, I listen to my mom, but I just, you get on your own and you're just like, you know, you just get kind of lazy, honestly. So, I wanted to do a paranormal story time because, you know, I have so many, especially with my mom over the phone, which is really strange. But last night we were talking and she typed something to me and I was telling her I was kind of down in the dumps, you know, I have depression, I, it, it always swallows me up at night for whatever reason. <clears throat> I think it's because I'm a night owl. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have a day job now, so I can't stay up. I have to... I have to go to bed, you know, because I got to get up in the morning. So that depresses me a little bit. And so I was, you know, feeling down and mom's texting me. And, um, you know, and she's like, well... It, so, it looked like he, but it says, I don't know what it said, but, sorry, but, um, anyway, so I, I thought that someone grabbed my mom's phone, I was like, mom, you didn't type that, I can tell you didn't type that, because I'm someone that is very, um, I've always been able to read between the lines, so to speak, being an empath, and a medium, and I'm like, mom that wasn't you that was some guy that was reaching out and she's like what I'm freaked out now I'm like no don't freak out it's you know it's not a bad spirit it's just they were trying to use your phone to communicate but you know and she's and then like I, I just felt that person there for a couple texts and even though that one text I felt like it was not her at all like completely not her and then the other ones I felt like it was more like her there was this one and she goes um Heather, I don't remember typing that. And I said, yeah, I know, because I told you beforehand there's someone trying to communicate. You know, there's a man trying to communicate. And the only thing I could think of was what was one of her friends that passed away. And, you know, because the morning, that morning I woke up and I seen his son's name in my third eye. And I was like, okay, well, maybe that's just him, you know, because him and her used to talk on the phone all the time. So I was like, well, maybe it's just him you know, checking in and letting you know he's there and he's watching over you right now. Um, but I mean, there's other paranormal story times I can give you. Like there, there's so many times that me and mom will be talking on the actual phone. We won't be texting. And then the next thing you know, there's, um, you hear someone talking in the background and she's like, what? And I'm like, did you hear that? She's like, no, I didn't. And I'm like, yes, you did, mom. You just don't want to admit it. She's so funny. She, this is why spirit always, always puts me and her like having these conversations and having, and having these, um, paranormal story times. Cause she's like, I'm like, yes, let's go ghost hunting. Okay. You know, let's get that out and just let's, let's figure this out. Let's, you know, make a puzzle. Let's, what is this person trying to say? Who is it? And mom's just like, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it. And I'm like, Mom, you did too. She's like, I'm not, I don't know, Heather. I don't know. And I'm like, you're so full of it. I know when you're lying. And then she starts laughing. She goes, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, I need, I don't want to be freaked out. La, 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 la. And she's someone that is so highly clairvoyant like me. But mine is when I'm awake and when I'm sleeping. But hers is mainly when she's sleeping. But sometimes she'll hear and see things clairaudiently and clairsentiently. And clairvoyantly she'll hear she'll have all the clairs kind of lined up too like me when she's awake but it's just like really split second and then she kind of ignores it um, another paranormal story time combined in with that is um, I was at my day job and I've been at this company for gosh almost 12 years if you guys 11 12 years you guys know I this is a job that I, I love hate relationship make a long story short um, I was on the phone and someone left me a voice message and 
No, actually, it wasn't a voice. That's what it was. Mom was on the phone. But she don't remember calling me. But it was her that called, her number that called me. And all of a sudden, I heard, Heather, run. Heather, run. And I was like, what? And then I heard, like, a bunch of, like, noises in the background. And, you know, not even a week after that, you know, I was going to go for this other position. I had two other positions before I got this position. And they weren't working out. It wasn't the right money. It wasn't the right time. And it wasn't the right situation or, you know, um, location. And I remember I remember that voicemail saying, Heather, run. Well, to make a long story short, these people got in an argument. And this person was trying to train me. And I just couldn't learn for someone, from someone that was very... Um, chauvinist and very um upset and I mean at the time I thought he was just being an ass but no offense I, I'm sorry I cuss a lot but I, I was just like he's just being that he's just not he's being a chauvinist pig right but little did I find out that I had like a love-hate relationship for him too like not like love love but you know what I mean like I liked him but I didn't like oh, yeah, yeah. And so I find out that, you know, this person and him were messing around and that's what caused the blow up in front of me. And I'm like, awesome, professional, awesome guys. Thanks a lot. And I, at the time I got really pissed and I, when I get mad in public, I start, um, I start hyperventilating and I get really upset and I was just like, I can't do this. And I just ran out and I went, I walked home because it was right next door and I was just like, you know, I was supposed to become a house lead. And I was like, nope, this is not working for me. I can't learn from you. And no one else is going to put, you know, take your place and teach me. Because we're just too short of staff. So I'm like, I'm done. So then I got this job. But that, in my opinion, was spirit telling me that I needed to leave that situation. And even though it, I walked out, I walked out of the job. Um, I called HR and I was crying on the phone and I told him exactly what was going on. I told him I had abilities. I didn't give a, I didn't give a care. I was like, I have abilities and I know that there was things going on there that I couldn't quite pinpoint, but it was not right either way, you know, and he, he was nice to me and, um, I even told my boss now, I'm like, I have abilities and I read him like, or like a book and he's just like, yeah, you're a really strong empath and I'm like, I can't help it like it's just part of who I am like I just can't sit there and um just act like it's not around you know I have to I have to just say it because otherwise spirit will keep plugging me with it so there's so many story times like that the one big story time I I would have I want to talk about but it might have to be in part two it's about the Morrigan and how I had this dream and it was extravagant but it was really scary at the same time but it was very it was it was tough love and that's what I needed at the time uh but I have some other paranormal story times if you guys like these these are just short ones um I probably could give more details but I don't know but I'm here I'm gonna get some food and then I'm gonna go back to the office and finish paperwork because I have data entry, a lot of it, and monthly, so I'll see you guys soon.